god. Oh, dad. Okay, so we're taping now. Natalie Christine of the Natalie Christine Show, and today I'm joined by my father, <laughs> my dad. And what we're gonna do for you today is try uh, something called kombucha on a new segment that I like to call Healthy Food with My Dad. Well, anyway, I guess I should probably introduce <clears throat> you again. This is my dad, I've known him for all my life, he's known me for a, a good portion of his life. I asked him to be on my show and he's like, yeah, I got nothing going on. Today what we're going to do is try um, some kombucha and yes. What's kombucha? Kombucha is a fermented tea. I was going to explain that. Thank you for asking that question. And specifically what we're going to be trying today is Clearly Kombucha, which is some kombucha that I was sent by Clearly, which is a kombucha company based in San Francisco. They kindly sent us some. This is not an advertisement. They sent me a note. It says, Dear Natalie, we're so excited for you to try our booch, which is what the kids... But it says, Dear Natalie, we're so excited for you to try our booch. Super light and refreshing. Just what we need in this heat. Enjoy and remember to always hashtag eat, sleep, booch, repeat, smiley face, XOXO, Abby, and the CU booch crew, I think. I don't know. I can't read. So anyway, I guess we should just start. What we have here is some water some glasses for us to try the kombucha in. Um, we didn't have any saltine crackers, unfortunately. Well, we, we did. did. We, we did. It was, they were like ancient. Yeah, they were, we don't know like, how old they were. They were so, like dust. They, they were really bad. So we, uh, as part of this healthy segment, uh, we're gonna be wash, cleansing our palate with potato chips. And let's begin our tasting. Have you ever had kombucha before? Never. I love kombucha. I pretty much have one every day. It's supposed to just be like an overall healthy drink. So it helps with digestion. Yes. I want that. So what's your impression of kombucha? You know, I've never given it much thought. Okay. I've never tasted it. So, I mean, I'll, I'll try to be honest as possible. Okay. Like, I like you, the stuff or not. Okay. I, but you have to remember now, I like a lot of... You like a lot of disgusting things. <laughs> you drink... Okay. You drink wild turkey, and that is like an old man drink. Um, no, but wild turkey is not. Yeah, it'll put chest. it'll put hair on your chest. You know what I'm saying? Like kombucha will or no. wild turkey? No, well maybe I don't know. It's TBD. That's okay. what the kids say to be determined. Your mother and I have purchased different types of tea recently. Okay, yeah, you had. got talked in. You got suckered big time. And that remains to be seen. But um, so I'm. <laughs> un I'm have an open mind. If you own a business and you want somebody to buy something and a lot of it... <laughs> that might be true, but I'm, I have an open mind. This one might be a good one to start off with, strawberry hibiscus. I'm allergic to strawberry. I'm a, Okay, don't joke about that. <laughs> because I, I'm allergic to guava dye. Okay, I'm joking. I'm not allergic to it. <laughs> Are you going to cry? Yes. Gonna... It smells good. Good aroma. Well, Will you put it in the... Yeah, nice. okay. We'll pour a little bit. Normally, I don't drink my kombucha like this. Well, how do you drink it? I just drink it straight out of the bottle. Not even a paper bag? Nope. So why don't you cleanse your palate? I guess you drink, take like a sip of water, like a, a chip. I've already had a chip. Oh. Hmm, that's good. Well, water yeah. good. Well, it doesn't, it, it doesn't smell fermented. No, okay, so the thing about Clearly, it doesn't, if you look at the bottle, it there's doesn't, nothing in it. There's no, there's no like... It's clear. Yeah, no, yeah. There's no SCOBY, which is the bacteria yes. that's... Yes. There's no SCOBY at the bottom, so there's nothing floating. What is floating. SCOBY? I forgot the abbreviation for it. I could probably put it down at the bottom once I'm editing. If you've never had kombucha before, go ahead and try this. Because the kombucha I have tends to have the floaters in it, which turns people off. So should we taste so it? So we should taste it. That's really not what I was expecting at all. I, it, this is very refreshing. It Well, they said it's light and refreshing. Just this is... You, just, well, yeah. Th it's very light. They weren't wrong. It is not bad. It's, it doesn't taste fermented. It tastes like soda. Yeah. Like, like a, a seltzer. Yeah, seltzer water. it smells really fragrant. 
what you just described earlier with the stuff floating in it sounds disgusting. Yeah, this, this is not the, not this is not the same. G this is uh, very refreshing. I could drink this. Okay. Yeah, you could drink. If I'm being honest. So thumbs up for the strawberry hibiscus flavor. You like that one? I don't know if I'd give it a thumbs up. Maybe I'd give it a yes, a thumbs up. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, I like kale, and this is a healthy segment, so we're gonna go ahead and you know I went on theme. You gave me a hard time, and you're like, why aren't you dressed up? That's how you sound. Like a terrible Kermit the Frog. <laughs> I mean, I, I or Fozzie Bear, I should say. Sorry. Okay, so let's go on to our next flavor, raspberry ginger. No, I like raspberry, and do I do like ginger. Okay. A more Marianne was a little bit, you know, more. I regret out this. There. You could definitely smell what it's. It smells what it's supposed to smell like. This is ginger, raspberry. Raspberry ginger. ginger. It smells pretty good. It kind of smells like a lollipop version of those flavors. Uh, it smells like raspberry. Yeah. And you can smell the ginger. Good job naming them raspberry ginger. Also, light and refreshing. Light, just like a light, refreshing. You know, it's almost like the, I can taste the ginger. It's, uh, it's stronger than the raspberry. Yeah, the first one I felt like the hib hibiscus, yes. I was like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Hibiscus was stronger than the strawberry, so you didn't really get the strawberries. Mm -hmm. but this one. You could taste the straw the raspberries, but it's very light. I think the, the overall drink is light. Yeah, and you know what? The thing I, I like about this is that, because the other flavors that are other brands that I've had, you can kind of smell the flavors that it's supposed to be, but you mostly smell you smell the kombucha, and this you get like the whole bouquet. You get what it's supposed to smell like, and you do. I don't even know if you. It smells like it's fermented. Now again, I've I've had a lot of different types of food, mm -hmm. so I'm open minded. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't necessarily mean that I don't get grossed out. Yeah. But when you said kombucha, and I knew kombucha, all I kept thinking it was floaty stuff and fermented. That's what I thought. You, that, I know why you thought that. Because I think I've seen some of the ones that you've had in the refrigerator. Yeah, and that I've you've left. and I've made it. I'm I just get saying, it. is that yeah. this taste like? flavored seltzer water yeah. that has a very um, refreshing taste. Uh, I could drink this during the summer without without thinking that it was this uh, thing of, for digestion. It, yeah. Uh, it's nothing like what I expected, to be honest. With yeah, you. I think it's just more... Or like, I can lie to you and tell you it's exactly what I expected. They each have 15 calories per serving. They're USDA organic, which probably you don't... Do you care about that? No, but what's, a, what's the serving? Two Every servings per per bottle, so it's pretty standard. Oh, okay. So it's like thirty right. calories. Uh, you know what? I'm... There's no added sugar. With, uh, I mean, you have to have sugar for the fermentation process, but they don't add sugar for flavoring. So the scoby is eating the sugar, so you're not getting that sugar, the extra added sugar. I stopped drinking soda and I've replaced it with drinking kombucha because it still has that fizzy flavor or fizziness. Yeah, I like this. I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm so glad it's well, not disgusting. Yeah, well, next time we're going to try a nasty one. It's going to be the worst. So I guess this is the so last... these two are good. Yeah, this is the last... I would buy these. What's this last flavor called? Okay, I don't... Oh, you, we couldn't pronounce I it. I didn't know how to pronounce it. Black Currant. Currant. Duran Duran. Currant. C-U-R-R-A-N-T. It's it's Durant. dark. It's like has a purpley... Current. I don't know. I don't know. We should have read the label. Sparkling fermented tea with active cultures. That's what kombucha is. Hello. Because when you make kombucha, you start off with a brew of tea. You brew a lot of tea and sugar in it. Okay. And then you let it, you put a scoby in it. Which What's you, a scoby? Again, I told you, I don't remember. But you put it in You there. put it in and it like ferments it. That's what the fermenting process is. You keep it out in like a warm area and it grows another scoby. And you can't. You can't make the SCOBY, someone has to give it to you. Like, give you a SCOBY. You can't they, start off, you can't. You can't it make was, it out of nowhere. Like, they found it in ancient China, like a long time ago. And then, how did you end up with it? My middle guy. Black currant, currant. Oh, this one can has we a just, nice... Can you just give me a name so that we just pronounce it the way it is? Just say currant. I don't know, it's a nice color to it. You know, this is... This is a very nice color. Yeah, it is a nice color. I think also, like, kind of the mm. way that they good flavor. Yeah, I mean, good smell to it. The nice thing, like I said, they don't have the scoby floating in the bottom. Because they don't have all the stuff floating in it. If it's less... If it's as good as one that has... Oh, as far as the health benefits? Right. I'm not sure. I mean, will you poop as much? Time will tell. It contains less than 0.5% alcohol due to natural fermentation. 
I, again, light, refreshing. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like, but I'm sure it tastes like what it's supposed to taste like. I don't know what currant is. It's actually very good. Uh, actually, I think I like that one uh, the most. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, so top pick for you. Right. Winner, okay. Because it has uh, the strongest flavor. But these are very nice. Uh, they're not... Um, they're light and refreshing. Intrusive, I guess is the word I would use. Okay. But again, they're very light. Uh, the flavor is there. But this one... This one has a bit more of a bold flavor, which is very good. And like it's not that. overly sweet, which I also like. Very good. Yeah. I would drink these again. Oh, very good. Well, uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming on the show, Dad. Daddy-o. Um, that was it. We did the one camera thing. Um, if you have a healthy food that you would like us to try, just let us know in the comment section or text me or something. Like and Big Steve. That, yeah, okay, you know what? Pig's feet could be very nutritious and we could put that on our show one day. We could just try a bunch of pig's feet. So anyway, um, I... You should thank these people. Oh yeah, I just wanna, yeah, thank you, Father. Thanks for, you know, manners, right? I don't have any. I just wanna say thank you to Clearly Kombucha for supplying all these different kombucha flavors. Um, we really enjoyed it. And, this one especially. Yeah, this was the my father's favorite. Um, the one we can't pronounce. Thanks, Clearly Kombucha. They're based in San Francisco. Um, local for us, since we're based also in the... They're, they're local for us because we're also based in the San Francisco Bay oh, Area. Oh, where are they at? San Francisco. Did you not hear what I... No, I wasn't listening. Okay, well, they're based in San Francisco. They sent over a bunch of kombucha, and we're really appreciative. And um, again, if you have like a, a healthy food that you want us to try, we'll try it out. If you're a healthy food company and you want to send me stuff, or just a company in general who wants to send, send me stuff, I'll take it. Um, so anyway, uh, I was supposed to have a fact, and I didn't know what my fact was going to be, but I guess, like, did you know that my dad doesn't hate kombucha? Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody who helped to make the show possible. Check out the... Oh, yeah, thanks, Dad, for being on the show. Uh, thanks to... Uh, well... Just check out the, the description box, subscribe, check out my other social media accounts. I, thank you, Mom. Oh, thanks, Mom, for marrying Dad. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Okay.